you know how sometimes like you look at your mom or sister and you think, man, I sure would like to fuck that. That ever, <laughs> that ever happened to you guys? <laughs> nice try, Wes. <laughs> Name a that race never, you'd like to eliminate. Yeah, that nice ha- try. <laughs> never happens to you guys? No, you, but you uh, all the time? No, no. Okay, good. That was a test. That was a test. Had you answered yes, it would have changed a lot over here. Uh, but frankly, I don't think we could have survived it. You are! There it is. Hell yeah, boss! Oh, hey! <laughs> oh, yeah! Go! Welcome to episode 939 of Hard Factor. It is Tuesday, May 10th, 2022. Thank you for cheating on the news with us today. I've got a cup of coffee in the big time full of justice. You'll find out what that means in just a bit. After that, Wes has a tale of incest, or is it? Great question, Will. Or is it? We'll find out. Uh, Mark's got the most metal story of all time. And the Philippines presidential election in the TikTok international moment. Oh, yeah. Lots of Or action. is it? Or is it? They might not have a president after this. Well, I was just, I like the or is it. Stay tuned mm-hmm. and find out. And Pat has a killer with a shitty excuse to close things out today. Says it all. Okay. <laughs> all right. Uh, uh, Patreon.com slash hard factor. The Rasputin deep dive is out now. Gregory Rasputin, as weird as he sounds, the infamous Russian warlock. He's like a evil Doctor Strange in real life. Kinda. I'm excited to listen. Yeah. yeah, he was something else, that guy. He's he's real creepy. Um, speaking of Doctor Strange, did see it, liked it last week. Uh, Wes, you're going soon. I need to know what you think of one scene. And you, I don't need to tell you which scene it's going to be. You'll mm-hmm. know. Okay. And then you need to report back next week. I'm going going Hang Friday, on. I think. Are you really? Yeah. yeah. So That's... West, I want to hear it because at my theater, half the theater started laughing out loud. It was hilarious. But well... I, I want to hear <laughs> what happens in your theater. It's okay. too much multiverse for Wes and too much like he just saw everything everywhere all at once. We do we do we, you really want to go this Friday, Wes? Um you need yeah, to break I mean, it I, out. I, I promised Cam that we'd go Ooh. uh because I, I, I'm really just waiting for Jurassic Park to come out. That's what I really want to see. Yeah, but uh, it's not out till uh, June 10th, unfortunately. Avatar two trailer, I think, is out or plans of it announced. You're not going to like Doctor Strange. Well, it can't be I any worse here. Than, than than the other one I saw. No, it's more multiverse, sure. dude. It's like right, but it, I'm sure it'll like be way more entertaining. Madness. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Listen, I'm sure it'll be way more entertaining right. than that stinker. Oh, I liked wow. it. I liked it. But Wes, you got to tell us what you think of the scene and if, will. if there's a reaction in the crowd. Can okay. you? Yeah, can you do like a recording, uh, like of of the crowd, and when when it gets real multiverse, can you be like, "Come on, the multiverse" or something like that? <laughs> yeah. See if you see if you can get the crowd to laugh at you well, making fun of the multiverse. My son would kill me. Uh, come on. All right. Yeah. Well, yeah. Doctor Strange, he's like a a good version of what he's what Rasputin wished he could be. You know, just couldn't could never do it with all the rapes and whatnot. But uh, get in there, patreoncom slash factor to learn all about Rasputin. Anything else, fellas? For you? hop in today no no i don't think so no all right let's do the news cup of coffee in the big time is up first yeah cup of coffee in the big time uh trends based on proprietary hard factor algorithms uh that only we know but first a fun fact hunter biden's laptop password was allegedly anal fuck 69 there's no way sick Yes, uh, this is according to the guy who he left his laptop with in Delaware. Um, well, no wonder why they got in. That was probably the second guess. Right. Easy. Easy to crack that nut. <laughs> Tell me yeah. he had capitalization in there, man. Uh, no, all lowercase. Lowercase 6-9. Was the A and the H? Yeah. Nope. Just uh, text. I think they... they straight took, up. Straight forward. Two guesses Holu. because they... The first guess is they bookended it. They did 69 anal fuck 69. And then the second guess, they went anal fuck 69. They got in. He's a big, yeah. dirty Sanchez guy. Goes yeah. from ass to mouth. 
Okay. Well, hold on. I'm just I'm oh. do, I'm do, I'm, oh, yeah. I'm thinking about this. Anal fuck in '69. Right. It's like two, it's like putting two magnets together uh, backwards. It doesn't. He likes work. that's that's Hunter's he style. He likes he likes her to you know clean her clean herself off of him. Yeah. Listen, uh, he needed a number, yeah. and that was the only number he could think of. <laughs> yeah. It's either that or four twenty. Anal fuck sixty eight was taken. Yeah. It was a previous <laughs> password. <laughs> yeah. No, no he number went for heroin down. yet. He, and luckily for him, passwords, you know, you, you can have the same as other. I'm sure other people have that one, but that's that's Hunter. It's, so it's always coming up as weak, but he doesn't care. Password no. strength weak. It's, it's strong. <laughs> and it, he laughs every time he goes, that's the strongest password ever made. <laughs> and then and then he presses enter. Uh, OK, uh, also fun fact, but unrelated. Uh, what was the biggest Domino's pizza delivery night of all time, fellas? A Super Bowl. Yeah. Friday night like the next Friday night. No, wrong. Uh, the OJ police chase on June 17th of 1994. Uh, one of those moments you'll always remember where you were like 9-11 or when Ron Artest punched a fan. So. Mm. Wow. Yeah, he didn't want to leave the TV for that. We ride no. together. Yeah, the Ron Artest one would have been bigger, but it was too quick. The incident cleaned itself up so people were, you know, couldn't order the pizza. The OJ thing took a little longer. That's yeah, it wasn't, on, yeah. it wasn't on every every well, screen that's right it, it was it was all night i mean you you yeah. remember i was in like a hotel room with my family i mean people i think we did like i think people went out and got like uh like buckets of chicken or something but i mean everybody just like settled in wherever they were and it was just must watch television yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. i mean it was it poor was delivery crazy. drivers missing out on it well but you'll always remember and uh dominoes will always remember they sold a shitload of yeah, pizza. oj actually ordered a pizza to the bronco if you remember yeah it was like that scene in the hangover when they're throwing them the suits because they're late for the wedding he's like mm -hmm. getting a, a pizza handed to him yeah <laughs> that helped great that commercial help boost the sales <laughs> um on to the trending news fellas honorable mentions up first what pepperoni i want pepperoni i'll kill you <laughs> pepperoni please <laughs> threatening the truck we know you will or OJ. Less. hold I'm the on, sauce please i'm on kind of a time crunch here <laughs> light sauce uh it's not for oj it's for not oj yeah yeah <laughs> you know who the fuck this is uh. yeah Take a right at all the cops. <laughs> did they? Did they have a mobile phone? <laughs> yeah. Al, Al, he was talking to them the whole time. They had a mobile phone, the car phone. Uh, yeah, ninety-four. Yeah. Oh yeah, that's right. They did. They, cars did. It was like the first one of the first years. I had a car phone. Yeah, car in phone in eighty-nine. Remember my ninety-four Honda? Well, but, had that car no, phone? but it was one of the first yeah. years that you could get the car phone in the car, like pre-installed. Remember right, we used to prank call. We used, we used to prank call everyone because I had a I had a car phone in my ninety-four Honda. Right. It, was, it was wild yeah. that's why i remember 94 yeah. for the car phone. yeah <laughs> yeah well maybe you know OJ. that was expensive that i don't know how my parents didn't pay for that for too long because it was just us prank calling people like that didn't last too long yeah yeah all right trending news you guys mm -hmm. want mm -hmm. some all right first honorable mentions uh quick updates this is the first set. Uh, most people think that we all drink dead guy water uh, from the Spotify and Instagram polls we put out. The uh, hundred percent was the most popular uh, selection. Also, apparently there's a 20 year historic drought all over the southwestern United States, helping to lead to this uh, Lake Mead drop that none of us knew anything about. So that sucks. Um, forest, fi forest fires is going to be bad. Yeah, yeah. it's like yeah. bad and getting worse, right? Yeah. Also, multiple listeners let us know that the credit card advice from the funeral home in Rochester last Friday is not legit. Uh, the family, in fact, inherits all of the credit card debt. So, you see, this is why it sounded too good to be true. I kept telling you we would be able to arbitrage this because you would be able to arbitrage. Right, this. So hopefully nobody went yeah. out and started like a business based around. Yeah, that. Yeah, that makes you a divorce. Lot more you got to divorce the person first, I guess. Right. Somebody right. gets left with the debt. If they, if they have like any family at all, like they're going to get saddled. The, it goes to the estate. Like, mm -hmm. so like you can't, you know. Yeah. So they'll right. take it out of your house before any, yeah. any money goes to the so. inheritance. Right? I think okay. so. Right. Yeah. It's not, it's not Scott free. Uh, and yeah. finally, I'll be on voicemails and reviews this week. If you're sending them in, hit me up. Uh, that's all the updates I have. Mark has one on bong bong in the Philippines later. Thank you, Cassandra, Forrest, Jack, Jacob, and others for those facts and updates. Which brings us to the next mention, fellas. Markets are down. Not sure uh, if you've been checking your Bitcoin wallet, 
mm-hmm. or a crypto wallet. I don't even know like the right words or your, your investment portfolios or your 401k or whatever it is. Uh, but they're all down all of them simultaneously. Turns out that whole theory that if your stocks are crashing, your Bitcoin's going to be surging and it's going to be totally fine. Uh, turns out that theory is total bullshit because uh, what's actually happening uh, in North America uh, in the markets right now is that they're all sliding down at the same time together, um, uh, especially Bitcoin. Uh, the S&P 500 closed Monday down almost 5% uh, from a year ago, so wiped out all the gains from the last year, plus 5%. Um, NASDAQ over 13% down from last year, and uh, Bitcoin down almost 50% from was where it was a year ago Jesus. today. Yeah, so... You doing okay, Pat? That's not good for you. Mm-mm. Oh, it's bad for anybody everyone. investing, yeah, for everyone. especially for, yeah. crypto-heavy portfolios. Uh, when it rains, it pours. Literally, uh, and money experts are predicting a continued general downturn until inflation fears are eased. The supply chain is working again, and the Fed is finished hiking interest rates and quote unquote quantitative tightening, which is the exact opposite of quantitative easing, which is the money printing slash market cash infusion that has been propping up the bull market since like 2010 ish, so especially saying, during the pandemic. You're saying the rest of the year? Uh, and beyond potentially, mm. Mark. The one good thing for Hard Factor in all this, mm. it's is finally we don't have any money. Well, that <laughs> that's not good news, Mark. That, Can't lose a lot Mark, when you don't have a lot. Mark, that's oh, bad oh, news. What's right. the good news? Okay, what's this? the good news? Chess. What is it? Can what we go it? up from here? What is uh, it? Um, we can buy houses again soon. Look at all of us. What's the good news for us in in a downturn? In, in a market downturn. We have enough body fat to maintain without eating for a while. You almost people, got there. People it, lose uh, their minds and uh, <laughs> the news. stories for us. Hear the news, yeah. Yeah, it's it's bear season, fellas. It's a bear yeah, market. It's bear season. season. Oh. So it's good for us. I Maybe think we all qualify. Uh, which brings us to the cream of the crop. What was that, we'll kill each other? <laughs> oh, te- I'm, I'm technically an otter. I'm an otter. So. Oh, you're an otter? Uh, technically. Okay. <laughs> Yeah. Have you? Uh, okay. I mean, you're telling yourself you're an otter. Right? Oh, it wasn't me that told me that. Oh, okay. I think Pat, like you know, depending on like uh, the month, can he certainly can dance between the two if you you know. Yeah. Like it, it, a couple of Domino's pizza, he's a bear. A couple, right. you know, a couple of diet weeks, he's. You could an walk otter. between worlds, yeah. Pat. Yeah, he can yeah, walk I, between. I worlds. dive below the surface like an otter does. That's right. Right. You can get fucked by Bears all kinds of different swim. men. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> You can just swim in different groups. <laughs> you got a lot Don't more men want the fuck you than we do. That's Don't be mad because you're not versatile. <laughs> <laughs> well, no, I just want to make sure it's One not a thing. Bear over here. I just want to make sure it's not a thing like you're telling yourself you're an otter because you want to make sure that you're not mentally putting yourself in the bear category when technically maybe you could qualify as based on, you know, size alone, girth alone. I'm <laughs> telling you that if you put me okay. naked in front of 40 gay men, and you pulled them. Twenty blindly. would say bear. Twenty would say otter. Yeah. Well, yeah, no, you have a higher otter to bear ratio. Okay. Okay. Well, then us what, for sure. But what's an yeah. otter? What is that? Dude, I don't. It's know in between. It's like yeah. It's, it's like, all just about thickness. Smaller than a bear. I want to check out my Wikipedia. Is I didn't it? Know if it what was is it? Like a, was it twink otter bear? Is that how it works? I don't know. I didn't know or if is, they did is something. Twink inappropriate to say. No, is twink's fine. They people identify as twinks. I think twinks like skinny. Otters like medium build and bears big boy. Wow. Okay. Well, one small bear season uh, joke got us all the way here. Uh, yeah. Let's get back on track and take it. Wasn't it wasn't a joke to me. A, yeah. And I know it wasn't, Pat. We all found out it was not a joke to you. I take uh, it pretty so, serious. Which brings us to the cream of the crop. <laughs> Good news, fellas. The whites are in custody. Uh, escaped inmate Casey White and his prison guard bride, Vicky, uh, were finally caught in Evansville, Indiana on Monday. Uh, based on being spotted at a local car wash. Um, so uh, they, they, he got caught. Authorities were able to easily identify White by his six foot nine frame and was his he ex- hand washing an 18, the top of an 18 wheeler. Yeah. He could have been. Yeah, yeah, he was he was towering over his truck uh, yeah. that was that was in the car wash stall. Uh, and he had his exact matching arm tats, uh, you know, from all the prison stints. Um, so stupid. Yeah, pretty easy uh, as hard factor predicted to identify 
uh, Ogre Rogers out there on the streets. Um, although the first spotting in Evansville, Indiana at the car wash occurred last Wednesday, May 4th, um, according to former Heart Factor guest Brian Enton, uh, investigators weren't formally notified until Sunday night, May 8th, uh, that a 2006 Ford F-150 had been discovered at the car wash in Evansville, about 175 miles north of Williamson County, Tennessee, where the 2007 Ford Edge escape car was found on May 5th. So the, 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 the car wash owner had actually notified the authorities one day that they were there, potentially one day before the car was found in Tennessee. And so I've heard investigators didn't believe local car wash owner James that Casey, you know, had solicited uh, the car wash to allow him to hand wash cars in a white tee with his big naturals to raise money for his getaway. Um, Cause I heard that that's, that's how he got caught. He really. just dumbest there, yeah? dumbest yeah. possible. He just in front of like so many more eyes that way. What a dumb. Yeah. Man. Yeah, I know. Well, he has the tits, though, to do the car wash, Wes. So well, that's true. He's, um, so he wanted to do it. It's, it it's a combination of the nice tits and the fear of getting murdered that you're going to give him a nice tip. Yeah, <laughs> right. James was James was scared. Yeah. James, and James was scared. He was worried this guy was, was going to off somebody because he thought it was uh, Casey White. And I'm just kidding. Uh, he didn't talk to him about a wet T-shirt uh, fundraiser. Um, Casey's just capable of that. Uh, this right. is what James had to say. Uh, to former Heart Factor guest Brian Enton of News Nation right after the news broke uh, that they had been apprehended by the authorities. James is the person who literally solved this entire thing, and it's 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 awesome to have you with us right now. He is the manager at the Where's car wash. Where's this guy's mouth? Okay, how it went down, I noticed a car hanging out of the bay, which is unusual. Mm. It kept sitting there. This is on the 3rd on Tuesday. Every time I leave, the truck's still been there. I come back, still there. Next morning, I get up at 6 o'clock to take my granddaughter to school. It's still there. <laughs> He's getting a call. I take her to school at Bossy. Get back at 730. The truck's still there. Oh, whoa. I walk up to the truck, and I think, oh, my God, this is probably this guy from Alabama. And I walk and look in the truck, because I think he could be dead, passed out. Who knows? Mm -hmm. And so I backed up, and then I opened the door. The keys are in. I started up the truck run. I got away. I Googled the local police department's phone number because I didn't want to call 911. Send the cop out. The cop comes out and he says, well, there ain't nothing I can do. It's not reported stolen. He run the plates. So. The cop saw the truck. Then he left. He come back. He looked in it again. He found a gun lock in the seat. He said, oh my God, there's a gun lock, but there ain't no guns around. So he left. Then I, he said, just do what you got to do. I called Tri-State Tow and had it towed. And this was on Wednesday. That's on Wednesday. And when did you see the video and say, this guy looks like Casey White? Was that on Wednesday also? No, that was on yesterday, Sunday. That was yesterday. The U.S. Marshal Service called me. They wow, sent me they should have caught them earlier. They called from Alabama. And they said, I heard you got a truck towed. I said, I did. I said, that's a guy from Alabama. He said, yes, it is. So he said, I got U.S. Marshals coming to you even as I speak. And mm -hmm. they didn't show up till this morning. Monday morning. Well, great work, James. It's a pleasure to meet you. It's people like you who, who you solve these see, things. If you see something, say something. See something, say something. It shows that it works. It works. So, And Mark, uh, his mouth is inside his beard. That's the Yeah, how does he question. eat and drink? <laughs> uh, <laughs> Carefully. Looks, looks like a Muppet. <laughs> yeah, thanks, Pat. I forgot to load my pictures before the show, but that's, uh, that's what Casey White's working with uh, below the Look shirt. Look at those. <laughs> he, like, he makes Bill <laughs> Gates. <laughs> Bill Gates blushes at those. Yeah. Took a shit, came back, still there. <laughs> <laughs> Ate breakfast, came back, still there. <laughs> I had to wipe the food off my mouth. <laughs> yeah. Took a nap, came back, still there. That's highly unusual. I, okay, so I listened to everything that man said, but it made no sense to me. What? what so, oh, so I mean, is, he, is he talking about the? Is he talking about the orange? Ford uh, Escape no, or F an F one fifty? No, they they kept changing cars, Pat. So they, the 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 Ford Edge was what they uh for, that was the first second ditch car. So they left in like the the police car that she she drove away. They got into the they ditched that, got into the Ford Edge, ditched that in Tennessee. Then they got into an F one fifty, uh, and they took that into uh Il Indiana. Sorry, um, right. uh, and and so then they've been staying in Evansville, Indiana, the entire time. So the they got caught wash. last Wednesday. Yeah. yeah, or around town. Yeah, and they're still there. That's where the U.S. Marshals apprehended him. Did uh, you catch that he doesn't trust 911? He only wants to talk right. to local sheriffs. 
Did uh, you catch well, that in there? Was he saying that because he didn't want he didn't want them to swarm the area and have him run potentially? Um, no, I don't Mark's... think he trusts nine one one. Right. Yeah. He wants to, he wants to talk to the local sheriff and the local sheriff only. I respect that. Yeah. yeah. So even though the investigation was a bit behind, uh, you know, because they weren't believing James's story uh, until a few days late. Uh, luckily, the whites stayed put, like we're talking about, in Evansville, Indiana, all week and weekend. Uh, and authorities were able to find them on the street and force them to surrender via car chase on Monday. And uh, the car crash scene uh, is nothing but Dodge oh. Rams mm. and dark colored uh, GMC Tahoes on top of a flip sedan. So uh, oh, yeah. it was reported that Casey White was driving the car and that Vicky uh, w- was uh, in the passenger seat. Casey has been taken into custody after uh, the apprehension and Vicky was taken to the hospital since she somehow shot herself. Mm-hmm. During the crash, uh, oh, which yeah, there's rumors yeah. of attempted suicide. There's rumors, well, all sorts of rumors or accident, yeah. uh, which yeah. would be par for the course. It sounds about right uh, for the woman. She was who, trying to shoot out of the window and like yeah. shot herself. You know, she did something the silly for the edge broke down. Otherwise, they would have gotten away because that thing is fast. Well, what? Yeah, no shit. Why? <laughs> <laughs> why did they stay four more days after the guy with no mouth caught them? Why or, did they make you know, it only only to <laughs> Indiana? <laughs> Yeah, why did the yeah. woman walk her murderer boyfriend well, yeah. out of an Alabama what, what, prison on camera? What were they going to do for the rest of their lives in Indiana? You know, why did she openly shop for their getaway at stores around the prison for weeks without yeah. trying to conceal it? She's mm-hmm. not they are not that smart, it turns no, out. No, turns yeah. out. Uh, and it's uh, not only good news for America that the whites have been found. It's great news for the prison intramural football program wherever Ogre Rogers ends up because that guy mm. is as tall as a tree. Tight end QB. He's improving mm. your team. Yeah, <laughs> no shit. Is that him? Yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> he looks just like him. Ogre Rogers is about is to his, be prison. He's his rookie pick. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> He'll grow it out, Pat. Don't worry. He'll grow oh, out the look. Uh, yeah, that's, that, that, that's the whites. That's the saga of the whites. Yeah. Oh, that they've team. got a, they got away longer than I thought they were going to get away. For Seven sure, this is good. Well, with, the with, one guy caught six him. nine motherfucker. The guy caught him on Wednesday, but no one came they out didn't to even help him. Care? Yeah. Like, yeah, I mean, like the FBI probably were like this guy's going to be so easy to catch. Like, who yeah. cares? We're yeah. not going to follow up on every tip. A guy that only calls the local police station and refuses to right. believe in nine one one caught him. I think we'll catch him. They waited yeah. till they got the surveillance photos, like confirming yeah. it, and they were like, "Okay, I guess we'll go drive up there and see if they're so." Oh, look at art. They, they they didn't leave for a week. They just stayed here. Isn't that the wrong direction from the border from Alabama into? They went the uh, wrong yeah. way. Yeah, there was another north. border up there. Yeah, well, they didn't get how far did they get though? I mean, okay. Indiana. They yeah. went to the belly of the beast. That's, that's two point five <laughs> states away, Mark. Yeah. All right. I mean, but then they stayed there for okay. Yeah. Who well, who cares? That, o- that Casey White, Ogre Rogers, he's as tall as a tree, easy to spot. Ninety K goes a long way in Indiana. That's probably yeah. what they were thinking. Mm-hmm. I think maybe they're thinking since the Pacers aren't in the playoffs, he could he could blend in. Like the the Pacers are in their hometown of Indiana still, because they didn't make the playoffs. So it's a basketball state. Yeah. Probably sure. what it is. Yeah. Like we're saying, he's a top. He's as tall as a tree. Maybe Vicky's he's yelling. He's a Pacer. Football. Yeah. Hey, Hoosier. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, a little old for college, but, you know, whatever. A little dumb for college. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yep. Speaking of trees, today's coffee was brought to you by what uh, it actually grows on uh, in nature, plants and trees. Fastgrowingtrees.com, to be exact, where you could literally order a fresh Arabica coffee plant to your door ready to plant and enjoy in your garden today. Uh, Spring and summer are the seasons for finally getting outdoors and entertaining, pool parties and barbecues. But if your yard looks like a plant cemetery, you're not going to enjoy it as much. Uh, Get your place looking like a resort with fast-growing trees. When it comes to caring for your plants, know-how matters. That's why fastgrowingtrees.com's experts curate thousands of plant varieties that will thrive in your specific climate. Uh, location and needs there's no waiting in lines and no messy cars uh, from hauling plants all over town because uh, you order online or over the phone and your plants are shipped to your door within one to two days plus their growing and care advice is available 24 7 whether you're looking for increased privacy shade or adding some natural beauty to your yard fast growing trees have the perfect plants and expertise to help you find them even if you've never had a green thumb 
they'll make uh, you feel like you do. Uh, One million home gardeners have already seen what FastGrowingTrees.com can do for them. Fast Growing Trees is truly amazing with how they can ship you fresh, ready-to-go uh, plants, uh, live trees, uh, ready to plant uh, anytime you need them all year round. It kind of boggles my mind how they're able to get it so fresh to you and like the plant is still living and thriving. And, you know, as somebody who has trouble just just having them survive, it's incredible. They have they uh, people smarter than the whites working for them, you know? Right. Yeah. yeah. And me, uh, yeah. because because it's 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 amazing. Uh, plus, with their 30 day alive and thrive guarantee, you can trust everything will be healthy for years to come. Go to fastgrowingtrees.com slash factor right now and you'll get 15 percent off your entire order. And we're talking about some big savings on on trees here. Get 15 percent off at fastgrowingtrees.com slash factor that's fastgrowingtrees.com slash factor hey vicky beautiful don't tell them anything when you go to jail my lip is sealed <laughs> <laughs> got it <laughs> got it because <laughs> she's just got the one she's got the yeah, one i got the one uh, keep your lips sealed keep uh, your lips sealed yeah <laughs> <laughs> Dumbasses. Uh, uh, hey, uh, Vicky, uh, can you play this trumpet? <laughs> yeah, no. <laughs> Quit being mean. Yeah. <laughs> Wouldn't she be great at a trumpet, though? No, you need two for uh, your ombature. <laughs> <laughs> Mine's obviously slipped quite a bit. Oh. Hmm. I'd like to see her try. <laughs> um, guys, let's face it. Your lawn is a reflection of you. So when people drive by your house, and see a crappy lawn they think to themselves you know i bet a real piece of shit lives there probably fat lazy disheveled doesn't care about his appearance just like his lawn and most of the time they're right but now is a great time to trick them you can still be fat lazy and disheveled but you can also have a great lawn that says i'm better than you which is what we all want that's what we want with with our lawn we want our lawns to say i'm better than you Absolutely. and now uh getting that better than you lawn is easier than ever with sunday and it'll go great with a nice tree oh. from fast growing trees, right? Sunday can help you grow a beautiful lawn without the guesswork or the nasty chemicals. Their custom plans include fertilizer and everything you need to easily care for your lawn with ingredients like seaweed, iron, molasses. You can feel good with your kids and your pets playing around on that beautiful lawn. No danger. All you have to do is visit get, uh, visit Sunday, visit GetSunday.com, mm -hmm. put in your address, and their lawn analysis tool does the rest. They find out what you need to grow the perfect lawn in your environment. Then they send you a personal nutrient plan delivered to your door and then uh, just attach the ready to use pouch to a garden hose, spray it on, takes less than 15 minutes. And best of all, it actually works. And Sunday is offering our listeners 20% off. That's 20% off your custom plan at getsunday.com slash factor. That's mm -hmm. getsunday.com slash factor. Um, really inexpensive way to have a fantastic looking lawn all year round and um it's one of the easiest ways to make a great first impression and to just you know really really look like you better you're better than you are um, oh yeah right you know yeah it's a, yeah it's a great way to fool people great way to fool people your yard uh, i mean the, the heart of hive yards are going to be looking incredible yeah both oh, those sponsors yeah. are like perfect for fat boy summer like you get the backyard mm -hmm. with the plants and mm -hmm. and the grass going and then you grill in and it's woo baby it's yeah like grilling and woo 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 yeah it's nice it's nice um okay guys let's move on guys uh you know how sometimes like you look at your mom or sister and you think man i sure would like to fuck that that ever <laughs> that ever happened to you guys <laughs> Nice try, Wes. <laughs> Name a race never, you'd like to eliminate. Yeah, and nice ne try. Ne never happens to you guys. <laughs> no, you. But you uh, all the time. No, no. Okay, good. That was a test. <laughs> that was a test. Had you answered yes, it would have changed a lot over here. Uh, quite frankly, I don't think we could have survived it. Um, luckily, none of us have had that thought, unless you thought of it about about it right now because I mentioned it. Um, but for some reason, uh, and for some, it's a constant urge, right? Something they uh, they can't help. A genetic sexual attraction, which is what one woman and her son claim huh? to have. Yeah, this is a, this is a real thing. Will you got to be careful? Is this um, like a step step porn? Is this like no. porn thing? Nope. This is real mom and real son because okay. they just can't seem to stop fucking each other. And apparently, the sex is the best, even better when the mom had sex to conceive her now thirty eight year old. I'm son. going back home where I was born. I'm going back home. Yeah, I need to find out who my mama is and fuck her. Um, <laughs> Now, um, I want you guys to 
What did I did I not uh, love I belong my in you pictures? Did I not love my pictures? Okay. Oh, you guys talk talk amongst oh, yourselves. No, you just... had the whole first story to load them. Wes. Boy, Wes, Wes, he didn't load his pictures. Oh, my Boy, God. is this setup gross. <laughs> <laughs> oh no. <laughs> mm. Boy, is this story gonna be hard. You haven't yeah, It's too? nasty. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Boy. Stop did thinking say, about it. Did you say uh the mo- <laughs> biological mom and son. I'm thinking about it. Or yes, okay. The S word in there. The safety <laughs> word. Step. So I want you guys to meet yeah. uh, Kim West, now 57, and oh, Ben Ford, now 38. No. Mother and oh, son, no. but also biological. Mind, yeah. Biological. Yeah. That yeah. Ben came out of Kim's wow. vagina. Well. Um, and, and went back in. And went back in. Oh, that's right. Back oh. out, and, and then right back, back in. in. <laughs> he's, in ah. he's in and out of there yeah. a lot. He came yeah. out of it. He came in it. Yeah. That's right. This is got thing. This is. This is I mean, this is, this is I wrong. believe there that he's fucking his mom and that she's crazy enough to think it's okay. But this, their condition is not real. Can one, it, spoiler one alert. The, well, spoiler alert. Not real. One of them well, has some severe heard mental issues. Yeah, <laughs> right. you haven't heard. So you see, Kim got Freud. pregnant. <laughs> Kim got pregnant back when uh, she was a teenager. Instead of murdering Ben with a medical procedure, she decided to let him live. Uh, perhaps knowing that some years down the road he would eventually seek her out. Uh, wanting to know who his true mother is and then fuck her brains out. Um, but she would have to wait um, on. Yeah. On that uh, a while because if she you love uh, it. Set it free. That's right. So she first gave up Ben for adoption. He was raised by their parents. So I'm sure ashamed of him and have distanced himself oh, um, no. you know, very far from Ben now. But like I said, eight years ago, Ben wanted to know who his biological oh, mom no. was and he tracked Kim down. And at first it was innocent. They formed a close mother son bond. But the two quickly noticed something. And that's what that they wanted to fuck and oh, fuck no, they no. did. Yeah, um, I should have never gave you up. Should have never gave you up, man. You turned out. I'll never do handsome. again. Yeah. Who taught you these handsome. moves? Yeah. Right. It wasn't me. So oh. they, of course, they, of course, didn't want to, um, you know, go totally public. But they did in 2016 with when this article came out in New Day. And the title is I'm in love with my son and want to have his baby. Oh, um, no. She'd Why be the grandma to people. And yeah. the mom. Right. You they could have kept like the secret daddy. the whole time. Could have yeah. kept the secret the whole time. Uh-huh. Now, of course, everyone was shocked. The two faced a lot of criticism, uh, gasps, and disgust, but that didn't stop them. The bond was too strong. The sex was too good. Um, but they had to hide their relationship for fear that the, they'd be persecuted under Michigan incest laws, which the, the two could face 15 yeah, please years. Please lock them prison. up. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Now, what they're saying is that this is an actual real phenomenon identified back in the 1980s. It's not incest, or is it? No, it isn't. It's not incest, is it? What? Yes, it's, it's it was a it's a phenomenon uh, first identified back in the 1980s by Barbara Gagne, a woman who ran the Chicago based support group for adoptees and their newfound relatives. And she coined the term GSA, um, which is genetic sexual attraction. OK, that's the phenomenon I was referring Mm-mm. to when I tried to trick you guys at the top. No. Um, and basically what uh, what it says is that a lot uh, of people that, we, that are uh, huh? we, we know one guy is definitely afflicted by this. Oh, really? Do we? Honey B. Um, right. Honey it's B. just freak. Just freak. It's called because he banged his bro- his dead. Oh, wait, life. but yeah. she's not. She's not biological. Oh, no, that's in. No, no, no. You know that. Yeah, I know. <laughs> yeah, this is not biological. This is so, actually worse. This is right. Worse. There's a psychologist, this girl, Corrine Sweet, she told um, New Day that she has come across this phenomenon while treating patients who have been in foster homes. Quote, at a genetic level, we are conditioned to find people who look like us attractive. We have an almost tribal connection with family members with similar features. At the same time, people who are adopted or fostered feel deeply rejected. They have experienced a profound wound which isn't easily healed. So when a son meets his birth mother, he feels a great rush of need. There's an attraction and a longing there. And when it's combined with the appeal of genetic similarity, it becomes a very powerful and complex cocktail, which is incredibly seductive. She noted also that the two also have to be out of their minds for this to take hold. Yeah, Um, that's the important ingredient. That's the important ingredient. Yeah, that they both have to be absolutely crazy. If Um, a mother who has a strong bond with her son gives him up and doesn't nurture him and he doesn't get that. And then they rekindle uh, mm-hmm. decades down the road and, and mm-hmm. one or both is absolutely batshit crazy. Yes. Yeah. And both then down on their fall, luck yeah. completely. Yeah. 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 Right. Then yeah. they get together. Yeah. Huh. Now, um, look at that. Other, of course, Will, you're right. A lot of people say this is just bullshit, a way to get around the taboo incest laws and, and say it's something else. Um, no, once then, you explain the foster aspect, I mean, that's, that, yeah, that's, that's it's weird. Yeah, that's, that's it's weird. weird. Yeah. 
Um, now I'm going to, I'm going to read what they said. Be prepared. This might make you puke up your breakfast. Um, mm -hmm. Kim said, quote, I know people will say we're disgusting that we should be able to control our feelings, but when you're hit by a love, so consuming, you're willing to give up everything for it. You have to fight for it. And Ben, uh -oh. that weirdo, he told, um, new day quote, when I met Kim, his mom, I couldn't think of her as my mom, but instead as a sexual being, I had seen oh, a yeah. therapist at an adoption support group and had learned about the GSA phenomenon. So what's more fucked up is this. So he this, was prepared uh, to do it. I know yeah. it's weird. It was in his head. Yeah, he's like, I know. He'd seen pictures of her and he's like, huh. I know it's weird to say, but I really get turned on by licking right. my mom's asshole. You know, right. it's now, Ben, when you meet your mom, if you want to fuck her, it's totally normal. Yeah. <laughs> yeah they, I'm a GSA guy. They, they prepped him with that. <laughs> yeah, they prepped him with it. Yeah. Uh, what's fucked up, more fucked up is this guy, Ben, was married when he found his mom. And oh, he dumped, he dumped his wife. To be, uh, she's better off. Yeah, she's so. no yeah, good for, for her. Sure. No, I mean that's sure. he did her a favor. <laughs> Dodged the bullet. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> um, cool. yeah uh, cool. that must have been a fun combo. You found your mom, huh? Yeah. Uh, no, uh, I think if yeah. that combo comes through, like Mark says, you you're thankful. Yeah, you're like you are thankful. Right. You're like okay, good. This Dodged this one came through at least. Goodbye. Quickly. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Actually, how Ben broke it off with his wife is that he told her, quote, every time I have sex with you um, since I met her, I imagine it's her. I am kissing his mom. Oh, Otherwise, I can't wow. perform. So he's fantasizing about his mom while he's fucking his wife. And eventually this just oh, became man. too much for Ben. He had to go for mom. Um, and uh, yeah, that's that's what's happening with Kim and Ben. Um, they, of course, are keeping a low profile because they don't want to go to prison. Well, this is this art. They have, I haven't found, found anything except for now. For some reason, it's re-emerging. Re Doing the any articles is too much profile. Zero articles well, would this, have been. This article yeah. is too much. Yeah. Yes. I don't know what they're doing with what that. What are they thinking? Here, yeah. Here's some more photos of them together. Oh, I mean, no. she's got some. She's she's going to love Big Naturals Day. Oh, this is this is upsetting. She's not allowed to celebrate big. We're not, no. <laughs> yeah, she is. This is I mean, so we'll, fucked up. <laughs> but we don't. But we're not going to reach out to her to celebrate. I'm sorry. I don't, yeah. don't want to be affiliated with her. Yeah, yeah please don't. So, no. you know, hey, if you don't have an abortion, wait. Are you day... like you're you you you're, you're like happy about? You think this is a happy story? No, of course not. It's disgusting. Yeah. No, I'm just saying. You know. This could happen. This is uh, a case for abortion or not. I don't know. One day, if you don't have an abortion, nah, they you need to come and find you and <laughs> no, no, come no, no, find no. you and fuck you. They need to lock these people away. This is ridiculous. <laughs> is this a case? <laughs> oh yeah. yeah, not all cases were considered. Obviously. Yeah. <laughs> Did you look. think of the GSA aspect? You gotta, you gotta look at all of them. Yeah. That's good. <laughs> oh, my goodness. <laughs> All right. Wow. Well, uh, you can move on now. <laughs> All right. I think you so all why, wait, wait, yeah, why are they back in the news now? I have no idea because think, someone stumbled across that article. One person remembered it. And yeah. said, mm. <laughs> and that's why they're back in the news. <laughs> Yeah. It's so disgusting. Ah, oh, weak. Remember that? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> They're still together. It's because one person remembered it and like tweeted oh, about it. Oh man. <laughs> I think it happened. So his buddy's like, no, man, that can't be the case. And then he found the he found the article from 2016. Well, dude, I I, I looked up a video. I was trying to find a video of them, and there was nothing. But I did find a Dr. Phil video of another woman. Who oh, this happened on. to, no, 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 and no. she's like, but she was like crying about We're it and stuff. On. Like she at least on. she at least was upset with. She her was stuff. remorseful. About <laughs> this is a lot like <laughs> GSA is a lot like the it's not like the other one? loves it. <laughs> GSA is a lot like MAP, uh, minor addicted persons. Oh, oh yeah, yeah. It's, a, it's a very similar. These, thing. Some it's of like these acronyms you got to yeah. be careful. You got to be weird, careful. Dude. You don't want to be associated. GSA is in MAP. You got to watch out. No, I'd rather get lost. I don't need a map. That's all. Yeah, let's go. I'll get on the plane. Speaking of. Let's get on the plane uh, okay. because it's time for the TikTok international moment. Or we're going, we don't need roads, just just the air. Uh, first up, let's head to a concert, shall we? All right. That sounds Lovely. like fun. How about a motherfucking Metallica concert in Brazil? That sound like fun to you? Oh, that's going to rock. Yeah, it sure is. Uh, that's metal. Uh, you know what's even more metal than just attending a Metallica concert at a stadium in South Brazil? By the way, stadium show. Look at this thing. 
badass Whoa. Metallica just ripping it up on the stage in front of like a hundred thousand Brazilians and other you know probably nationality people that came to see him in South Brazil just slaying uh probably an incredible concert well what's more than attending it how about giving birth to a baby boy during the encore enter Sandman which is exactly what 39 week pregnant woman Joyce M Figuero did Whoa. boom right at the stadium she well, plus, popped like, out the, a kid during Enter Sandman. The vibrations of the concert is going to get things moving. Oh, he so. wanted to see the show, Will. Uh, mm -hmm. it's, you know, it was a good show. Apparently, mm -hmm. the kid wanted out as soon as the three-song encore started because the concert was that good. Local authorities came to take her to a local hospital, but the kid was like, I'm coming out too quick for that. He was out by the third song in the three-song encore, Enter Sandman. Uh, and he came out with a mohawk and an arm straight up in the air, one arm in the air giving the rock sign, and another arm playing air guitar with the umbilical cord. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> <laughs> he was rocking. Exit Sandman. <laughs> yeah, yeah, Exit Sandman, exactly. <laughs> um, yeah, the kid was smoking a cigarette, and he already had broken a few hearts by the time he got in the car on the way home. Uh, the kid's name is Bones with a Z. She's got a bright future. Yeah. No, it's not. It's like Luan or something stupidly normal. But you can bet your ass that kid's going to get some nicknames. You know what I mean? Keep bones away from your daughters, parents of Brazil. <laughs> like yeah. bastard. Yeah. <laughs> Here he is. Uh, he's cute. And then Metallica, <laughs> oh, he's really cute. He is. And so then Metallica, Metallica retweeted it because it's awesome. So Metallica's official page retweeted the uh, story of, of yeah, Bones cool. being born. Yeah. Bones is destined yeah. for greatness. Yeah, I yeah, mean you that's you like you're gonna go far in life if you're like I was conce I was born I shot out during the encore of that that huge Metallica concert. Yeah, Brazil. sad but true. Sad but true. You gotta get him a scholarship yeah. immediately. I, Pay for am I evil? Yeah, I was born during the Metallica concert. Yeah, exactly. Oh, that's the uh, best birth story. He's gonna seek time. and destroy some poon, if you know what I mean. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, yeah, sure yeah. Is. Turn the page on that story. All right, real quick update <laughs> while we head to the Philippines. Uh, the Queen of England seems to be on uh, more life support than Leeds in the Premier League, uh, which you guys mentioned yesterday, Oof. about to be relegated, so that's not good for the Queen. The Queen pulled out of, like, today's, I think it's happening today's, state opening of Parliament, and the reading of the Queen's speech, which is, you know, her speech to read, uh, that, mm. according to Buckingham Palace, who announced it, like, yesterday. Um mm. Uh, this will be the first time since 1963 that the Queen will have missed this constitutional ceremony and given her speech, and her doofus son Charles will be delivering her speech today. She is 96 and allegedly can't walk anymore, which is going to make it hard for her to escape death when he comes for her any day now. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I yeah. don't oh, know. Yeah. That sucks. Uh, Poor Queen. Yeah, not good for her. Uh, 96. Well, the, yeah, the COVID at 95, right, was, yeah. was, was a tough. Talk about creeping yeah. death, you know? Yeah. Tough. She's going to have to, you know, she's not going to make it past this no, year. No, death is, right. is definitely going to seek and destroy her. Oh, yeah. Give him wherever fuel, give she him may fire, roam. give him the queen, which he desires. Yeah. Uh, wherever she may roam. Exactly. She better sleep with one eye open. But yeah, maybe she, she maybe... might as well drink some whiskey in the jar <laughs> while she can. Yeah. Uh, she's going to be one. Yeah. With, yeah, with God. With yeah. God. <laughs> yeah. <too. laughs> yeah, he's gonna fade to black. Such a good band. They're yeah. really good. Uh, but hopefully, um, uh, all will be forgiven and not unforgiven, because you know, you know, the afterlife stuff. Um, that's another song that they do, unforgiven. Mm -hmm. All right, that's We've, true. Maybe she's gonna ride the lightning and make an epic comeback, though. There you go. Oh, that would be great. She's she is a master of puppets. Uh, mm -hmm. All right, it's we've very arrived. True. <laughs> it's very <laughs> true. <laughs> we've arrived in the Philippines, our final destination, and maybe we should just turn around. Maybe we should just leave right away. Why did we even come here? Uh, turns out that the big presidential election we've been talking about happened, and it's not great, guys. Three security guards were killed on Monday when <gasps> gunmen <What>? opened. <laughs> yeah, yeah, um, mm -hmm. not great. Three security guards were killed, shot to death on Monday when gunmen opened fire with machine guns at a polling station in the southern Philippines. Stop the steel meat. Stop breathing. Uh, three guards were killed and a fourth injured as people ran for their lives at another polling station in the Datu Unse mun municipality uh, on Sunday night. I butchered that. On Sunday night, five grenades were thrown 
injuring nine people. So people are lobbing grenades Jesus. into polling stations. They're shooting people with machine guns. It's a fucking mess. A third location saw another grenade hurled in Sharif Aguak. Uh, both grenades, uh, grenade scenes were in the Ma Gindanao province. Uh, and <laughs> yikes. Were these like... Uh -huh. um like like the bad guys in uh, True Lies celeb celebrating was it were they celebratory grenades and gunfire? Yeah, no, I think it was like uh, probably in parts of town where they thought they weren't going to vote for Bong Bong. Uh, mm -hmm. Okay, yeah. yeah, Bong Bong is like uh, landsliding yeah. it, but it sounds like he's uh, maybe doing it with some some dirty force. With some, yeah, yeah oh, that's grenading. Wrong. He's grenading some people. Uh, yeah, uh, it's to be con like they're they're trying. They're like we're not sure if it's related to the voting. It's at the polling stations, probably. <laughs> uh, Vice presidential front runner Sarah Duterte, the former mayor of Mindanao's uh, Davao City. Uh, Eric, let me know how I did on any of these, by the way. And daughter or current of current president uh, Rodrigo Duterte, who is running with Bong Bong told reporters she hoped voters would not end up disenfranchised as a result of being shot at and blown up. Yeah, uh, which would disenfranchise me. Don't let so. it get you down. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> we're just suppressing you until we have the power, and then uh, then we'll be totally cool. Shockingly, there are some reports of voter fraud as well. Uh, there's 2,000 vote counting machines (VCMs) malfunctioning, or they malfunctioned. That caused huge delays. People couldn't even vote till like 7 p.m. or like 12 hours after they're supposed to. Uh, a lot of counting is going on, and the um, you know, like the the largest competitor to Bong Bong, Lani Robredro, this woman magically lost like millions of votes in a glitch. Allegedly, who knows? <laughs> what's we'll the keep point? an eye on it. Uh, yeah, what's the point exactly? I mean, For we now, would never know anything about any of this in America. Yeah, I know. Like, an election here would never be this bad. Ever. Yeah. Like, oh, I, no, at, at least we don't have it the grenades. wouldn't actually, Will. Grenades and machine gunning, thank God. Um, I mean, we were pretty yeah. fucking close to all this. Because of assholes one. spreading misinformation, but yeah. No, yeah, no, yeah, no, no, because I, of how long it took to count the votes and how yeah. and how fucked up our counting system is, like no, the Philippines. For sure, mm -hmm. yeah, which is, um, we need to get that, that super PAC running, for sure. This is, proves that the super PAC for vote tabulation is a worldwide problem. Yeah, it's uh, a huge problem. Yeah. You can't for have now, people sitting around for, for days and days not knowing who the fucking president is. You need to have that shit fast. Otherwise, people are going to lob fucking grenades. Idiot. It is 2022. Technology should, you know, get you there. For now, it looks like Bong Bong won uh, in a landslide. But with all the corruption and issues going on, there might be a court proceeding and anything could happen, including Sarah Duterte, who, again, was running for VP getting catapulted to president as an election committee is ruling on four disqualification cases against Bong Bong today. So, like, he might get thrown out, and since he won, it would go to Sarah Duterte, uh, which is the daughter of the, you know, longtime menace there, Rodrigo Duterte. And Bong Bong's, like, the son of the previous menace over there. Dick yeah, guy. yeah. So it's just all in the family in the right. Philippines. Um, but, yeah, that's the uh, TikTok international moment. Crazy. Mm. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I know a lot of people are hoping that, you know, Bong Bong doesn't take power since his uh, dad was like a, you know, authoritarian. Yeah. Uh, dictator Jerk. president Jerk. style yeah. guy. Uh, but looking like he's got his sort of hands ar around the look, look like he's got kind of got a got a hold on it. Well, you know? people, of the Philippines, listen up, because that was brought to you by uh, our wonderful sponsor, New Mood. You could use their app. Uh, mental health has become a part of the global conversation. I think you're all aware of that. You've heard it here on the show. A bunch of, you know, learning to manage daily stress and anxious thoughts is something we all want, but many of us don't know where to even begin. Well, I'll tell you, New Mood. They're here to guide you to mental wellness and give you the tools you need to tackle stress so you'll feel empowered to take on whatever life throws at you. I'm a huge believer in New Weight. It worked for us. I'm so excited to try New Mood. I have tried New Mood. What am I saying? I'm, I'm more using new mood with new mood you'll take the journey to mental wellness one step at a time their guided approach teaches you the power of shifting your mindset in just a few minutes they have a team of dedicated coaches you have a support system helping on your daily journey it's really awesome i'm working on getting better night's sleep and also learning how to manage stress and anxiety with new mood it's also reminding me you know to like work out which is good for the fat -a and stuff and just in general for like 10 to Take 15 minutes a day yeah. yeah and that's a gr great way to deal with stress is doing a little doing a little physical activity um you know you can discuss what it's like to use uh you back it's backed by science lessons based on psychological principles that teach you about your relationship with stress and anxiety it's, it's robust provides you with a variety of tools and techniques to try out and discover uh and also like you know hold your hand it's easy for you you don't have to do much thinking it whatsoever uh they have a curriculum that's that's coupled with a one-on-one -on -one coach that guides and encourages you on your journey it's very easy to use so 
what are you waiting on? You're stronger than your stress. Don't let it control you. Right. Um, and you know, they're experts in behavior change. So get, get with it with new mood, taking care of your mental health. Wellness is empowering. Um, and worry less and feel happier. Sign up for your trial at noom.com slash factor. That's N O O M.com slash factor. Noom.com slash factor. All you need is 10 minutes a day guys. So do it. Yeah. Pretty mm -hmm. easy. Yeah. Guys last month, the tragedy occurred in Washington County, Utah. We missed it, but I'm bringing it back up because it's uh, it's an important story. Two cyclists uh, who were also brothers were riding in a bike lane when a Hyundai Genesis swerved into the bike lane, killing them both. Okay, and, that's a bit extreme. I don't like cyclists, but that's a bit extreme. It's a little extreme. Yeah. Um, the brothers Andrew and Matthew Bullard, 48 and 49 years old, they were from California, and they were competing in a race in Washington City, Utah. This is according to police. And uh, police arrested the person responsible, um, a woman, 47-year-old woman by the name of Julie Ann Budge. Here's a picture she of didn't Julie budge. Ann. Here's a picture of Julie Ann. Oh, look at that. Whoa. She's a very <laughs> interesting-looking woman. So she's a no bra for sure. She's like absolutely not. This is not slim kind I'm going to go out on a limb. She's a lesbian? Could she be. is kind of slim, though. Well, she had yeah, a picture of a daughter slim. there. Could I don't be. Know, they're not slim. That's just that ironic shirt. There's another photo she has that yeah, says it's an ironic shirt. Yeah. straight out of addiction. It's a straight out of Compton shirt, but it says straight okay. out of addiction. She's in recovery. Okay. Yeah. Or is she? But or maybe not. Or just uh, or just partying. Julianne Budge. Well, what I know, Will, for sure, is that she had a shitty explanation for what happened. And that's her IBS. Oh, man, she should be called Julianne Fudge. Mm -hmm. Fudge told police she was driving when the condition, quote, made her defecate on herself without warning. Oh, no. Which caused her to swerve into the men. A probable cause statement attained by KUTV in Utah uh, says that Budge told officers she was driving home when she, quote, began to uncontrollably defecate on herself while driving. That's hard to steer when that's So happening. she swerved. Yeah. Uh, okay. Into two people killing them. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Well, just she just couldn't. Con I mean, she swerved because she was shitting. Well, still manslaughter, right? I mean, like, r regardless, like, I mean, I think yeah, she's yeah, gonna you get shit off. yourself. I mean, well, guys, they pulled her over uh, because she stopped. And a witness at the scene said that it appeared that Julie did not have any intention of stopping after hitting the two cyclists uh -huh. uh, that was in the police report. But the police did finally catch up with her because I guess she finally stopped and uh, she failed all the on site sobriety tests. OK, oh. there you go. Yeah. So she shit herself because she was so drunk. No, but did did, she, did it stink in the car? That's my point, Wes. There's nothing in the reports whatsoever of whether or not there was shit everywhere. Right. OK, right. Mm -hmm. uncontrollable defecation doesn't sound like, oh, I took a shit. It sounds mm -hmm. like someone turned on a shit faucet. Yeah. Right. Wow. That couldn't be turned off. Like you notice she, it. Like she's sliding off the pedals because it went all the way through her pants and onto or, the, onto or the pedals, her yeah. her head is cranked at the side yeah. because the shit raised her so up bad. cartoon style. Like a jack under yeah. her butt. Shitting uncontrollably is, a, is like a murder scene of shit in the car. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Defecating on herself without warning, uh, uncontrollably defecating. They should have known when she was wearing the not slim kind of shady shirt or the straight out of addiction shirt. Yeah, they, mm. yeah, that was the dead giveaway. She's 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 she likes to tell a little fib or two. Yeah. So yeah. Budge yeah. got a DUI back in 2015. I'm assuming that's why she got in recovery, got her straight out of addiction shirt. But she also claimed she was in the hospital the day before and received a fentanyl IV drip. Interesting. Oh, yeah, that's uh, normal. Yeah, that's totally normal. So for what? I don't know, but just own up and say that you were fucked up. Don't say that you were shitting all over the place when there's no shit in the car. It's a pretty great excuse, though. Yeah, it's a great excuse, but she's I mean, she's, she's lying through her teeth. Yeah, yeah she's lying, right. lying through like her ass. Seems Two seems people like are dead. To do. It, right. It's yeah. one of those things where she thought of it afterwards and she was like, you know, like I that if she thought of it in the moment, she probably should have tried, tried to squeeze her shit out even after she hit the. That's what I'm saying. But it's hard, yeah. bro. It's hard yeah. to do that on command. Yeah. Well, that's super sad. Yeah. So she's just so this liar. woman, this woman who's like her life was already in shambles, accidentally killed two people, probably because she's on drugs and then claimed she shit herself. There you yeah. go. Let's oh. get the wheel up. <laughs> <laughs> oh, <man. laughs> oh, right. Wheel Damn. it is. <laughs> Damn. It's, 
Oh sad. boy. Sad. Yeah, that is yeah. sad. R.I.P. the cyclists. Yes, uh, I bet yeah. Miss uh, Miss Fudge wish she had a wheel to bring back. Uh, yeah, for before a time, a time wheel. Before she got in the car, right? Yeah. <laughs> Let me spin the wheel for what I should do. It doesn't include uh, driving into cyclists while fucked up. How do you life. say you shit the car if you didn't actually shit the car? I know. Right. Yeah, there better be the, so much shit in that car. That bees. car better be fucking filled with shit, dude. Mm-hmm. They're huge and they're angry. <laughs> the the car is filled with bees. They're All sting right. crazy. Cup of coffee in the big time tomorrow. So we're getting four, Pete. Four Will box. Be. Four some for Will. It's four. It's four for Will. Oh, Wes. Oh, oh, Wes. Oh. Wes. Very close. close one. Very close. Guys, no an otter, by the way, is a <laughs> slimmer, slightly slimmer, less hairy bear. Yeah. Oh, there you go. Okay. Yeah. Got it. I don't know what otter was. But I'm saying if you gain. You've got like, a lot of hair below the belt. If though. you gain like Mark, 10 Mark, pounds, you Mark can is, go. Mark is, Mark is number two. TikTok I mean, if you ask, take Mark man. and Will's normal hair, though, and my normal hair, it's. Uh, yes, I am hairy, but I, you guys have, you guys have <laughs> tr- traditional bear form hair. Uh, right, you're right. The upper body's more of a bear thing. You're yes. a lower body guy. That, that, that matches the body. You're, right. you're, not, you're not. Sorry. Yeah. Yeah, you you clearly knew, and I did not. So He even had the noises ready. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> You've done a lot of research. I didn't it's know. Me. <laughs> <laughs> well, according to the DMs, I'm an otter, Will. So, you know. <laughs> so, uh... <laughs> According to Big Gay Al, 769, yeah. anal fuck, I'm an otter. Hey, you know what you are? Times, Whenever right. someone asks yeah. me that question, <laughs> although I know it's rhetorical, I'll, yeah. I'll play. Pat's what gonna am I? Some, Pat's going to get some DMs tomorrow. And they're going to be like, ignore those idiots. You're an otter. I know. Yeah. Don't need to tell me what I am. <laughs> no. Take us out. No, it was so, uh, ah, so- uh, that's going to do it for Hard Factor, guys. Have a great fucking day.